Altering have gone up to 19th position in the Vanarama Conference table this evening, courtesy of a 1-0 victory over Braintree Town. And we're talking to two of uh, Altering's top players this afternoon, Jake uh, Malt and James Laurie. Jake, uh, first of all, it's a big, big uh, result today. We haven't got a game now for two weeks in the league, so I'm sure Lee's delighted to take all three points. Yeah, certainly. I mean, uh, to get the three points today was vital. Uh, like I say, we've got a two-week break now, uh, so obviously we'll go again in the FA Cup. It wasn't an easy three points, but uh, I think we grinded out in the end. But yeah, good three points. First half, uh, not too much in it. In fact, uh, Braintree had a good spell, uh, hit the bar with a really good effort, which could have really gone anywhere. But uh, we've got the all-important uh, goal, and then we've got a clean sheet. So we've got to be very, very happy with that. Performances, I think they stopped us playing quite early. Uh, I mean, we tried to play as much as we could, and maybe we got sucked in a little bit to their style of play, but... I mean, sometimes you have to do that. And look, well, today we come away with the three points, so that's the most important thing. And we'll try and keep climbing. And the goal itself will bring James in uh, now. It's a really good move involving uh, Sean Densmore, Simon Richmond, James himself, and of course the goal scorer Nicky Clee. But uh, wonderful ball that you put through uh, to Sean Densmore. Cheers, Brian. Um, I just seen his run, um, and then just hoped to put it on the corner for him to carry on with the uh, the move. So I was pleased with it. Goalkeeper's made a couple of good saves in the first half. Fortunately for us, this one, uh, good save with his uh, feet, but it's come straight out to Nicky. And uh, it was a fairly easy chance, but he's still got to uh, put it in the bottom corner. It was harder than you think, really. He had about five in front of him, so he did well to, to find the net, really. Um, but that's what Nicky gives you on the wing. He can score his uh, fair share of goals, and today he did. We've set up today 4-4-1-1, and uh, it's not ideal probably for Damien Rees because he has to work very, very hard as the, the lone striker, but uh, you were finding plenty of space in the first half, and, and you've really reaped uh, the dividends of that in the last few games. Well, that's what Rees does. He can stretch the, the uh, back four going that way, and I can just fill in the holes and try and get in the pockets for the likes of Malty and Cav and everyone to find me, really. Uh, that's what I look to do, and so far it's been working since I played there. We didn't get a second goal in the second half, although we put in a good uh, performance at times. But uh, Damien Reeves had a really good chance, but he just uh, caught it a little bit wrong and it went over. Yeah, he did good movement. Um, he may be under pressure from the defender, he might have snatched it, but he'll get them in a few weeks to come. He'll, he'll be scoring them, so it's not, not a big deal, really. But he's getting the positions. And I think you might have put the ball through for that as well, didn't you? No, that was Nicky. I passed to Nicky, and then Nicky. Look at Brian trying to get me involved there. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, that was Nicky, good ball over the top, and then obviously Reeves put it wide and over, but it was unlucky. And uh, we had a bit of luck in the first half when uh, Mullies hit the bar with uh, a good effort, and then uh, towards the end, Braintree just had a, a decent spell and a great effort, so Stuart was motionless, and it's bounced off the underside of the crossbow. Nobody seemed to be able to clear it, but eventually we got the ball away. Yeah, they hit the bar in the second half, so didn't they? Um, so we were fortunate, but I thought overall we deserved to um, come away with the three points. Going back to you, uh, Jake, uh, you've been in really good form in recent weeks and uh, you've got some quite big defensive duties. Although you play in midfield, you do a lot of work on the edge of the area and, in fact, in the box. And in the first half particularly, you seem to be involved in everything. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something we, we've thought about, uh, helping the back four out a little bit more. I mean, I don't think we can uh, we can attack as much as we'd like to in this league, so I think we, we've got to pick our chances, maybe defend a little bit more and pick be a bit, little bit more selective with our, with our chances on going forward. And, Anything I can do to help the team, obviously, is a benefit to the squad. And uh, got to, can't finish without a couple of uh, incidents in recent games. Your outrageous lob against uh, Woking last week. Where did that come from? <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> Some of the lads tried to say it was a shank, but no, no. The, the touch made me do it. The, the touch, I, I didn't know. I have no other choice. So, so shame it didn't go in, but yeah, yeah. Jimmy's did. Yeah. yeah, it did. Let's go back to that uh, fantastic moment against uh, Macclesfield Town, who we've got to say going very, very well this uh, season. But when the ball came to you, uh, I mean, it was up in the air for a long, long time, but fantastic goal. I just made the run inside for Denzi to find me from uh, the throw-in, and I just thought, this is setting up nice for me here. Might as well give it a go and hit it. Um, I just saw the keeper was route to the spot um, and lobbed it over him. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a good goal, and... Um, just delighted to win those important three points for us to get back on winning track. And finally, uh, James, let's just get a thought on you on next week's FA Cup tie at Barwell. Uh, everyone was really disappointed with Trafford away last year and I'm sure that uh, the players are going to go there absolutely determined to get a result. Yeah, we will do. We'll um, prepare properly this week in training um, and then give them the respect they deserve 
and hopefully we can come away and uh, get a name to the hat for the next round. That's uh, James Laurie and Jake uh, Malt there. Uh, two uh, fantastic performances against Braintree Town this afternoon. We can forget about the league now for a couple of weeks as we travel to Leicestershire to take on Barwell FC next Saturday afternoon. And uh, we look forward to hopefully progressing, as James said, into the uh, hats for the draw a week on Monday.